Welcome back. You guys can talk to us on Twitter and on Facebook, of course. What do you think about the Super Eagles ranking? I understand the reactions have been coming from different angles. From the media officer of the Super Eagles himself, he was the one who was shocked with the news as first when he tweeted the ranking. You know, they didn't expect that to happen. But the good thing is it's not going to affect, you know, the draws, which will be done December the first. Also, we've talked about Formula One. Who should get it next season? Ricardo or Halmanty or Sebastian Vessel? We'll also be talking about cycling this morning. And cycling is all about trying to develop it at the grassroots level. That will get our attention in the second segment of the program. And to discuss that uh, with us this morning, we have uh, Yemi Oshilaja, the president of African Cycling our Federation. Good morning. Good to good have morning, you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. It's good to be with you. It's good to have you on the show. Yeah, that's right. I'm happy to be here. All right. Thank you. Cycling. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's get straight into it. Go to the chase. Yes. We're having a tournament coming up on uh, Saturday yeah. at the Unilag, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Now, tell us what's it going to entail, schools, children, adults, what's going to happen? Yes. Um, the background of African Cycling Foundation is promoting grassroots cycling. Mm. As you know, cycling has become a major uh, uh, sport and a major uh, vehicle for wellness, right. a major uh, vehicle to, for cleaner environment. So, I mean, with all these three in place, Nigeria cannot escape, <laughs> you, you understand? So, uh, but secondary schools, just like any other sport, is the first place to start in catching people young, young people getting involved in cycling. Um, we know for sure that bicycles are going to be all over the place, first and foremost <laughs> in Lagos, in Abuja, Potter, and then the whole of Nigeria. Okay. Reality is coming back, <laughs> you know, because Really, uh, these children, most of them have many other opportunities beyond football. Yes. Mm. <laughs> beyond, you know, athletics. So some of them want to get involved with cycling. Apart from the sport of cycling, you also know that cycling helps mobility. It helps you to get from one point to the other simply and faster. Somebody said cycling is the only vehicle, you don't have to buy petrol, you don't have to look for service, you don't Correct. have to look for parking. <laughs> yeah. you don't have, I mean, apart from that, you also get you more. You can do license. You can do service. You might need to do you know, a couple yeah, of services. Yeah, a bit of service in here. Yeah, nothing yeah, serious. Wait, nothing serious at all. <laughs> and then you, you, yeah. you get fitter and right. you get your heart rates better, mm -hmm. your limbs are okay at the end of the day. You get yeah. six packs also. Oh, <laughs> you know, this is yeah, the, the benefits. Yeah, yeah, the benefits are counted oh, it's, it's enormous. It's mm. enormous. Right. You know, I got into cycling because of health. Okay. I wasn't doing well with my health, and I went to my doctors, and he said, go get a bicycle. I was like, are you crazy? Mm. Bicycle? <laughs> And here we are. I mean, it's a big difference, you know. Mm. And so the school's, school program is to catch uh, uh, young people, you know, to get into uh, cycling. Because cycling is going to go professional. As you know, we've not been able to send a yeah. team mm. to Commonwealth yeah. mm. or to African games. games. Yeah. Not to talk about Tour de France. No, <laughs> no. No. That's, that's no, no. We'll start with so, the major so if we want to get to that point, we mm -hmm. have to start from these young ones. Absolutely. So from the 12 year olds, from the 13 year olds okay. to 16, you know, even in fact at 16, 18, you're already late. Mm. You okay. know, because you, you have to cut them a lot younger. Yeah. You uh, uh, them what's the age you're looking at right now? Because I saw like the, the boy I just saw in the picture to like four or five years old. No? Oh <laughs> yes, oh yes. You know, I mean, we belong to a family of cycling. You know, we, we, we have a family, you know, and uh, our parent is Psychology Riding Club. Okay. okay. It's a club that you have so many professionals in their own field coming together to have sports of cycling, you know, and we enjoy ourselves every week, every midweek, you know, mm -hmm. and, and then our families join us, you know, and uh, they ride with us. And um, we also have another part that is called Sustainable Cycling Foundation. Okay. This uh, Sustainable for Cycling Foundation is a professional arm of psychology. Okay. You know, they, 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 they prepare young people that we get from the grassroots. Mm. African Cycling Foundation gets them you know, grassroots, grassroots okay. and they hand them Pass over on. to uh, Sustainable Cycling Foundation. And they turn they them do the nurturing. They do the nurturing and turn them to professionals. Oh. 
it's an, it's incredible the, mm. the 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 enormous work that is being done over the past two years. Mm. You know, cycling is never going to be the same. It's never going to be the same. Uh, let's just you know let's get this one out of the way yeah. uh, as well. To um, I don't know, growing up. Um, you know, football, uh, table tennis, you'd say yeah. those are the sports uh, where uh, Nigeria, you know, have a culture in it. But cycling back then as well, too, I mean, I used to see bikes all over the place. If you didn't have a bike, you could rent one. Yes. So you, it's right to say there was a culture of cycling then. So what has happened from, you know, back in the days till now where I hardly see any bicycle on the road? Kids just <laughs> riding for fun. It's no longer the case. Yeah, as a matter of fact, from your research, you know, I, I think it has a lot to do with our culture, mm -hmm. how we have evolved. Mm. I hate to talk about it, but then is it development or something? No, the military, the military era. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, it got to a point. Owning a bicycle is like you're being you're a poor person. Mm. Okay. You must be poor to be riding to be a, bicycle. a bicycle. Mm. You know, we have to get all the cars of this world. And you see, we have so much congestion. And then our air is polluted incredibly. You know, so there was a period that we, we were skewed in a way whereby bicycles are too slow. Mm. So we were on the fast lane. As a, we were developing such a culture in Nigeria where we all were on the fast lane. Mm. And, and everybody wanted a car. Everybody wanted to live big. Everybody wanted to. So cycling was not... Uh, seen as anything glamorous or anything, but it's changing. Yeah. It's really changing. Right now, most people who have beautiful and expensive cars cannot do without a bicycle <laughs> because they have to be healthy. They have benefits. <laughs> Health benefits, and, and, and it's becoming status symbol, really, truly, because you can have bicycles from prices of maybe 40,000 to 6 million naira. Bicycles. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you, you <laughs> could be very expensive. <laughs> so the, yeah. the, the, the whole idea of bicycles has gone really, really. I mean, maybe at, this, at some point we need to talk about the environment, really. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's kind of I mean, because we're trying to bring uh, the culture back, yeah. and um, there are a few people out there that believe mm. riding on the streets of Lagos uh, is like. Is um, okay, uh, I don't know. It's yeah. like just putting yourself yeah. in danger. I mean, what do you have to say to these kind of people? No bicycle parks, I don't see anyone around. So yeah. you can tell us about the plans that you guys are you know have in that direction in terms of you know making it safer for people to yeah. ride it's amazing we have a government in lagos that is doing phenomenal you know i mean there's been so much happening in the past 10 years mm. 